Sickle cell anemia, also called sickle cell disease, is a genetic disorder in which the gene for hemoglobin causes some blood cells of the affected individual to be improperly shaped like a crescent or a sickle. These irregularly shaped cells can stick to and clog up blood vessels, preventing parts of the body from getting the oxygen they need. When the sickle cells start impairing blood flow, they are eliminated by macrophages, a type of white blood cell. This then induces anemic effects on the body due to a lack of red blood cells. So how does something like this happen? A slight alteration in the DNA of an affected individual affects the development of the hemoglobin. Instead of creating a rounder, regular shape, as normal hemoglobin does, affected hemoglobin will clump together in a long row, which forms the cell sickle shape. Although it can affect anyone with a family history of the disease, as it is an autosomal recessive trait, it's most common in those who come from Africa, South America, India, Mediterranean countries, and the Caribbean. Some symptoms of the disease are fatigue, shortness of breath, dizziness, headaches, coldness in the hands and feet, and pale skin. If the disease is neglected, it can result in blindness, strokes, chest and breathing problems, infections, and swelling of the hands and feet. There's no true, true cure for sickle cell anemia, but there are treatments available such as antibiotics to counteract its symptoms like infection. Sickle cell disease can be diagnosed at any point of a person's life, although it is optimal to have it diagnosed earlier than later. Blood is taken and screened for sickle hemoglobin, and if it comes back positive after two tests, then you have a confirmed case.